Alright guys, it's Mark and Rich here from Newbie Prepping, part of uh, Bug Out Practice Series and here we are in a abandoned quarry. It's looking a lot brighter than it actually is right now because there's a big gap up in the wall up there. But uh, yeah, um, the idea of this video is that uh, when you're bugging out in a city, you want to have uh, something good to make a fire with. Um, and making a fire like you do in the forest is not going to be exactly the same as it would be uh, in the city. Uh, so we're going to uh, show you something here, uh, which I bought, um, that would go a long way to helping you uh, making a fire in like an urban environment, uh, which is why we came to this lovely place. So what we've got here is uh, a firebox here. Uh, it's a one Tigris firebox. And, um, it's the uh, Scary Monster Firebox, uh, I think it's called. Uh, it's because it's got like a nice big wide open uh, gap in there for you to actually put uh, logs and stuff into. Uh, there are some fireboxes on the market where the hole is actually really small uh, and it just makes it really uh, silly and pointless because like uh, you want a firebox where you can actually put stuff into it. Like, sounds obvious, right? But yeah, there are some that aren't, just aren't. So, we're going to construct it now, and you can see it. Okay, and uh, there we go. That's the scary face thing on the front there. Nice big wide open gap to put stuff into. So a good thing about this as well is that um, not only can you put like a pan on top of there on uh, when this is in like a cross, uh, but you can also take this off and put it in like that, and like put a bottle, uh, like an aluminium bottle, across the top there, and uh, boil it like that. So it's actually quite versatile, so it's uh, uh, really good for making a fire in an urban environment where you're not able to just, you know, get make up a stone circle and then get like a bunch of wood and everything. Uh, it's just great for like a nice quick fire just to warm you up or just warm up some food or some uh, uh, water. So yeah, uh, we've got some wood here uh, already, uh, and we're just going to uh, make a little fire, uh, just as a demonstration, just uh, to show you how good a firebox is. For this exercise here, uh, we're not going to bother feather feathering a bunch of wood. Uh, instead, we're just going to use a trusty old fire lighter here, and uh, just get this going like that. So literally just put this on top, and we'll start it up with a lighter. Again, this is a very good way to have a nice, small, compact fire that's contained in one area. So it's very good for any type of bugging out uh, that you're doing, any sort of plan. Especially if like, you're traveling from one place to another and you just need to make a nice, small fire. Um, yeah, it doesn't take much fuel to get it going. Another advantage of having one of these things is there's no worries about uh, the ground warming up underneath and uh, accidentally causing a forest fire. Uh, again, a nice contained fire like this, it's a lot safer and it's a lot easier. Um, and as we're demonstrating right here, you can do it anywhere. Got our supplies out and ready for when the water is boiled. Good for children. Good for children yeah. indeed, yes. 
I've never seen a chocolate bar that hasn't stopped uh, an annoyed child in its tracks. Mm. <laughs> this is instant chocolate. Oh, it's instant, cho instant oh, chocolate. Oh, I thought it was dairy milk. No, 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 instant <laughs> chocolate. It is a dairy milk, but it's instant chocolate one. Indeed. Lovely. And that's the water boiled. Yep. <laughs> one more done. Yeah, do yours. And hot chocolate for the little um. Oh, hey. She likes it, so there's chocolate still on top. <laughs> but she's got no spoon, so I don't know if she's going to be drinking that. And we have cheat if we have got milk, but we'll have cows. We'll, we'll, we'll be having cows, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> somewhere we'll be able to find it. And my wife knows how to milk a cow. And I know Absolutely. her mum knows how to milk a cow. Indeed. Perfect little stop off drink for whatever journey we're on. So this is a first for me uh, because this is my first time using this firebox. But uh, uh, so if it goes wrong, it's caught on video. Um, but emptying this thing uh, should be quite easy. Uh, in fact, uh, all I was thinking of doing was just knocking it over, get all the stuff out of it there, and uh, there just so happens to be a little bit of a uh, little puddle of water here. Um, so uh, obviously you could probably use like some of your own water supply just to cool it down enough to pack it away again, or you could use uh, a puddle of water because we're in the UK. Chances are there's going to be a puddle of water somewhere. You hear the uh, water boiling away there? Just let it cool down. Okay, so that's Bug Out Practice episode two finished uh, this year. Nice and cold now, so the, uh, the system worked before of just dumping it into a puddle of water. Uh, yeah, so uh, definitely think about getting one of these fireboxes. Uh, just search firebox online. How much uh, was that one? Uh, this one was probably around £20, £25, something like that, so not even that expensive and like honestly for something this small that can fit in your bug out bag or bushcraft pack, whatever, uh, you don't have to be a prepper, but yeah, um, for prepping I think that this sort of thing is invaluable. Anyway, uh, so Mark here hasn't really said much this video, uh, I've kind of just kind of Make change. charged the head. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's done a lot of the filming and uh, uh, always providing valuable insight and everything. Uh, and hopefully we'll um, see him in more videos, uh, more uh, bushcraft uh, practice, uh, sorry, prep and practice videos uh, later on down the line. Uh, but yeah, already. Well, thank you very much for watching. We've been newbie prepping. Yeah, take um, care. Be safe. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.